And I wouldn't say that this is very limited and exclusive to him, but I want to. <laughs> Hasn't uh, stopped I, you before. I, I, I want so to. so no, why don't you just let it out? And, these, uh, these have been a long time coming. Long time. You no. Know? People have got so excited for these. Mm -hmm. Tamiya has finally given us the egress black edition. I don't really know what is the black edition is it just the body or is it other things too how about we jump in there and have a look all right let's have a look the egress black all edition. Right, let, me, let me zoom this out and right. the egress is really the ultimate racing to me isn't it before the top force so wow, this, this is the there. full racing version of the Avanti series of, of the Avanti chassis. series which is the last one before they went to top force yeah so we've got uh Carbon fiber. Oh. Okay, we've got the high cap dampers. Yes. Are they high caps? I can't remember now. They I think are. the high caps came out before they actually got fitted onto the top of Evo as well. Oh, look at the uprights. Yeah. So I've got machined uprights. Yep. Um, got these nice yellow springs. I actually got CBD, so that's a new thing. They would not have had CBD. No, back they would have had just regular universals. Got a nice alloy motor mount. Yep. Got your carbon shock towers. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Ball diffs and out drives. Yep. Oh, they're modern style ball diffs. Yeah. That's they look, nice. They look Delrin machine, don't they? I still probably would be a bit reluctant to go and stick a 13 and a half or five and a half turn modified in there. Do they, do they look Delrin? They do, don't they? They look, look it, but they don't sound it. I'd have to be anodized aluminium. Beach. You reckon? Have to be. Okay. All right, I trust you. Oh, can we get? That's into something it? different too. Can I get into it? So I've got the um, oh, get the wheel it. hexes. These are actually clamping type, so it's quite a modern addition. It's got the this, old school tires, though. This Big is pins. what this is what the VQS could never be. It's very VQS ish, isn't it? Well, VQS is based on the same chassis. This really goes to show how hmm. good the VQS is. Well, that's right. No. Yeah. It's got all the same geometry. Yes. I love it. Same motor position. Yeah. Can I so turn the VQS it? actually uses these suspension arms. Can I turn or what we're looking at? I know, I just want to turn a page. Well, these are the really narrow gearbox housings. Yeah. And the reason why they go really narrow. Why? Yeah. So yeah. they could put big boingy expansion arms. Boingy suspension. suspension arms? Yeah. Really? Yep. That's why they went for the narrow cases, because they were back then the longer the better. Yeah, yeah, that's true. You know, because yep. before then, the arms were really, really short. That's something different too. Easy access gifts. Yep. Because you had to serve some all the time. Yep. So there's a ball just going together. Very modern in construction. Yeah, that's right. So you get your, your thrust yep. uh, bearing there, ball bearings. It's very much as a, uh, a ball diff is constructed these days. Nice little retainer there. Look, it said quick release. Yep. Drop straight out there. Three screws. Straight out. That'd be handy in today's day and age. Hmm. Your stainless steel prop shaft. That's not going to give any dramas. No. What does it have for a slipper clutch? It's got a one-way. It's got a one-way on the front prop shaft. Yeah, there's a one-way. There's no That's slipper. That's pretty. Because the VQS has got like a ball diff, mm. doesn't it? Mm. So it doesn't have a one-way, but it has a ball diff. Yeah. And it's got the trailing arm rear suspension. Mm -hmm. I love it. You love it? Loving it. So what year would this have been? This would have been... Come on, guys. Early 90s, maybe? Come on, guys. What's that? These guys are no. It's got to be late 80s. And oh, so the Wombat said that these high caps, yep. they're, they're lookalikes, but they've got modern internals. So modern? It should, so it should work better. Is that what we're talking? Hmm. Well, that's all sealed, so there's nothing there. Uh, uh. We're not going to crack this open. Uh. It's got the nice blister packaging, doesn't it? I mean, it's very retro already. Who's going to build it? Who's going to build it? At least, it's standoffs. at least it doesn't have a painted body. Look what they're doing with the bodies these days. Oh, it's got an under tray. Yep. Really nice sticker sheet. Yep. Put some more gears down there. Spares. Mm. No, I'm not calling them spares. That's a pretty good way to package the, the tires in the kit, isn't it? Mm. I Makes haven't sense. seen that before. Have you seen that before? I've seen it on something else before. 1989. The original... Oh, so it would have been like that in 1989. It would have been like that in 1989. Yep. I love it when I see things like that. That gets Whatever, me excited yeah. about. Even if it's not, why don't I just stamp it with old things? <laughs> no? 
But they, if they made a new press, they could put 1989. And I agree. It's 1989. There you go. That's what you just said, isn't it? I said something like that. Yep. Anyway. There you go. Black Aggress. Super special. This one won't last long. No, not at all. This is 1989 there too. It does. Well, it'll help if we read the box. Yep. It's a big box. If you got one of these, would you paint it black? No. Have you ever seen a black RC car? The off-road ones, they just they don't scratch very much. I like the blue tinted windows. I could do that. Well, I guess black doesn't scratch very much no matter what it's on. Yeah. It shows off everything, doesn't it? Yeah, if you're going to use it, if it's going to be a shelf queen, it'll probably be all right. Mm. I don't know. I don't know. There I don't you know. go. I'm calling that pretty special. Black edition. It's a very special thing. 